Hey guys, I want to share with you today how I made these crispy cauliflower coated in this slightly sweet, also slightly spicy gochujang sauce. So these are Korean gochujang cauliflower and I really love eating these as is, but are also good with rice or some noodles. So we're going to start off with the sauce and you're going to need half a cup of room temperature water. And afterwards, we're going to go ahead and add in around 1-2 to two tablespoons of gochujang, which is Korean chili paste. So you can add a bit more if you'd like and basically adjust depending on your desired heat. So we're just going to mix that up, dilute it in the water. And after that, we're going to go ahead and add in 1 third cup of ketchup. So the ketchup brands may differ in terms of sweetness, so you can adjust the sweetness level later on. And afterwards, we're going to go and add in one tablespoon of soy sauce and just kind of mix that around. And then we're going to add in two tablespoons of liquid sweetener like maple syrup. Or you also go ahead and add in some sugar and adjust depending on your desired sweetness. I added in some garlic. And afterwards, I'm going to go ahead and add in a bit of vinegar. And lastly, we're going to go and add one tablespoon of cornstarch. So this is going to help the glaze thicken later on once we cook it down. So we're just going to go ahead and mix that up and just continue mixing until this cornstarch is diluted because it does tend to sit at the bottom sometimes. So we're just going to go ahead and set this aside while we work on our cauliflower. So we're going to need 450 grams of raw cauliflower florets. And then we're going to go ahead and prepare the batter for this. So you need one third cup of all-purpose flour, one tablespoon of cornstarch, one teaspoon of baking powder, and one teaspoon of salt. And we're just going to go ahead and mix this up to kind of combine it. And then afterwards, while we're mixing, we're going to go ahead and add in half a cup of room temperature water. So we're just going to go mix this together until we have a thick batter. And once you're happy with your batter, you can just go ahead and set this aside and prepare a shallow bowl. So we're going to need a bowl for the breadcrumbs. We're going to need around one and one half cups of breadcrumbs. And we're just going to go ahead and dunk each cauliflower florette into the batter and then transfer it onto the breadcrumb mix. So I like to use separate hands for this, like one hand for wet and one hand for dry to keep it clean. So I'm basically just going to repeat this for the rest of the florets and coat them until I have all of the coated florets ready for frying. And then we're going to heat up a pot or a large pan and add in enough oil to submerge like at least three-fourths of the cauliflower. And once it's very hot, like you'll see small bubbles, you can go ahead and add in the cauliflower. So you can kind of cook this in batches depending on the size of your pot or pan. And I cooked mine in maybe two or three batches. So just leave the cauliflower on to cook over medium-high heat for a few minutes until it turns slightly golden brown. So you'll see there are like a bit of like dark edges on the cauliflower and this is usually due to the exposed cauliflower that aren't coated in the batter so it's totally fine but also keep an eye out that they don't burn and just take them out of the oil and drain any excess oil and once you're happy with that you're gonna go ahead and empty the pot or pan and add in the sauce so i put this over medium heat and i just kind of mixed it and I left it to boil. So once it boils, you're going to make sure to really mix it because it's going to thicken and you don't want it to stick to the pan. And this part didn't record, but basically I added in the cauliflower. And after I added in the cauliflower, I just mixed it up in the sauce so they were evenly coated. And after this, I was like super excited to eat it. And I basically um, transferred it to a plate. And you also go ahead and eat it as is or eat it with some rice and noodles. I added in some sesame seeds as well, plus some green onions, which is totally optional, but I love the added color. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this one, and thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and see you guys in my next video.